Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How is everybody? Let's get rid of that. Add that. Boom, boom, boom. Um, pistol. Flashlight, yes. Flashlight. Um, scope. That's what I want for that. I did think about putting the face cam on, I don't know, it's kind of, I feel like there's enough on the screen already, there's the PLD, there's the map, and there's a radar. I mean, I could put it in the middle, but then it kind of hides the car as well, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the face cam for, um, role play. I'm just not really sure. Maybe civilian ones. What are your thoughts? Hey Honda, welcome to the stream buddy. Good morning to you. It's 8.30pm for me. And it is like 29 degrees, so it's way too hot. I put on a bulletproof vest actually. Fourth, welcome to the stream buddy. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, that's what we want. Get rid of the money. Get back in the car. I didn't know what to drive, so I went with the Caprice. I, I honestly love this car a lot. It's a super nice model. With a wicked interior. Fourth, what do you like a lot? The Caprice. It is a really nice car, if that's what you're talking about. It's five. Are you talking about Fahrenheit? Honda? We might park here for a little second and have a look. Fahrenheit, okay. I don't know what that is in Celsius. All I know is it's way too hot. Five Fahrenheit doesn't sound very, that sounds quite cold. MVA Sandy Shores Airport. Oh. Sam 320, I'll be en route to a MVA 1020 Panorama Drive. And we are the only unit, which is interesting. Good old traffic accident. So we'll head that way. Look out, dude. Sam 320, I'll be 1097. Roll EMS, it's going to be a two vehicle MVA. If it isn't this little fucker. Sir, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. They, they flew off the road. Right, yeah, well, they're in a lot smaller car than you. Can you hear me guys? Sir, are you okay? I can hear you. Okay, you okay sir? I don't think so. Right, okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Is that you Mr. Campbell? Yeah, what's up bud? Yeah. 
It's good to see that you're sticking out of trouble. Not. Yep, I got my own job. We were just on our way to deliver a pizza, actually. Right. Okay. When this jackass rammed us. Which jackass? All right. Jackass yeah, in the yellow the shirt. Okay. Okay. I just saw him come at As... us, and then I actually have, I have epilepsy, and I had a seizure. So you were driving, and you had a seizure. No, Thaddeus over there was driving. Thaddeus. Okay. I can't drive. Thaddeus, are you okay, sir? No, it's Thaddeus. Right, Thaddeus. Um, alright, I've got AMS on the way, okay? Yeah. What was that? What was that, sir? It's Thaddeus. Yeah, I've been saying that, Thaddeus, okay? I'm, I'm, I don't know where you're getting at, sir. Um, we've got AMS coming, just hang out there, okay? You, you sure you've got no injuries? Yeah, I'm deliberately doing it, Charlie. <laughs> I said I had some. Yeah, you didn't tell me what hurts, though. I'm, I'm literally standing here asking you what hurts. My head. My leg. Please don't say your gut. Your leg and your head. My eyebrows. Your eyebrows hurt as well. I don't know if that's possible, Thaddeus. Maybe we should just well, shave them do. off. Does that work? You think that'll do it? All right. is, Just hang out, medics are on their way. Uh, I know you, but I can't remember your name off the top of my head. Are you hurt, sir? No, I'm all good. Gravy spilling out of his leg. <laughs> yeah, the fat fucker. Alright, you want to tell me what happened, sir? Yeah, so I was, you know, driving and actually maintaining the speed limit, unlike my normal habits, but I was. <laughs> And and I was, you know, making coming off a of sixty-eight yeah, right there by Yellow eye. Jack, and I stopped at that's that stop sign, eyes. and I and I turned around, Look at that. and there's this little tiny shit box comes flying, like literally flying. I don't know, he had to have been like going, you know, ninety miles an hour. It barely manages to slam on his brakes. He smashed into the back left side of the car. And then just whipped around me and took off. So I tried to catch up to him. I was honking my horn, trying to get him to stop, and they wouldn't. And so I got up behind him, and I don't know. I must have freaked the fat guy out or something because he just cut it left real hard, and all of a sudden he was flying into the air into this sign. So let me just let me just get this straight. You were you were doing the speed limit. A shit box that was tiny as you know that car over there come out of nowhere, and what happened? So he ran into the back of my hey, car. You can nice see the damage. The you can see the damage on the back left side of my car. Attention 320, Tom so Green went around me after he hit me. And so I tried to keep up with him to try and get him to stop honking my horn okay. and everything. And he just kept going. And then we got right up past this guardrail. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if, you know, his world went a little crazy. But he went flying off to the side of the road, flipping off to the side. So I stopped and called 911 because it looked hurt. Alright, just hang out here for a second, sir. Sam 320. Yep. Sam I'm going to be at an MVA 1020 Panorama Drive with two vehicles. 10 4. Be advised, I've also called for EMS. Um, I've got an unknown ETA, though, from them. Sam, we'll check in the base. Sam, 320, do you request additional? Uh, not at this time. Oh, she's too up for me. Alright, you're not hurt at all, sir? No, no, I'm not hurt at all. all. Right. License, registration, and proof of insurance if you have it on you. Yeah, Fatty yeah, S and Mr. Campbell, AMS is like a minute out, okay? They should be here very shortly. There's my ID, uh, Jonathan. There it is, Spinner. yes, I remember you now, Mr. Spinner. I hope they bring and some then McDonald's here's the other paperwork, the insurance and registration. Uh, Fatty S, I don't think you need to eat anything else tonight, okay, sir? You're always hungry, Thaddeus. Fuck. 
We worked at a fucking pizza joint. You can get pizza all day, every day. Oh my. I'm just big boned, leave me alone. Did you guys just see that AI? He eats pizza on the job while he's driving. He eats pizza like I think he's pizza, drunk. the pizzas that we're supposed Boy, to be fuck delivering. Up. Don't say that. Sam 320. Sam 320. You can show me EMS 1097 on scene. So, well, what was that conversation that you two were just having? Him eating pizzas. He's a fat fuck. Yeah, I got the fat bit right, but um, he was he was eating pizzas that you guys are meant to be selling to customers. No, we just get extra pizzas. I don't think that's what you just said. Was he? Control me, ten seconds. Was he eating a pizza while you guys were driving this car? Not this time, but he does eat pizza while we're driving the car. Not this time, he had just eaten. We just had pizza. What are you setting up, Charlie? We had it down at Mama John's Cafe. Alright. Mr. Campbell, do you want to tell me what happened to the best of your knowledge? So, we're fucking driving, right? Fucking and, driving. you know, we're just fucking, fucking going out for a rip, eh, bud? You, you know. Just like rum, rum. I don't know what happens. So I don't. I, um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Mr. Campbell. This, but you just this... went from talking English to sounding like very Canadian for some reason. I'm not really sure what happened with that. I don't, was that an accident? Oh fuck yeah, bud. Oh right. fucking right, that wasn't no accident. Okay, so you you just have a slight accent every now and again. Gotcha. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> I think he fucking fell on his head anyway, a few times and um, fucking... Thanks for that, Thaddeus. I'll write that down in my report. Um, Mr. Campbell, continue <laughs> with your story. So, we're just out for a rip, eh? We're going Tubby up one. to, uh, we're going ripping up to, uh, um, the, uh, trailer park up down, um, at 68 and Joshua. We need to, uh, um, get some pizzas up down there. So we're ripping down there, and then this fucker comes out of nowhere. I love how he uses ripping we're just, as a word. Uh, I'm like, the fattiest over here, what's this all about? And he's like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so I just, uh, I just blacked out. I had a seizure. Jesus Christ. You had a seizure had because a you saw seizure, what? Dude. What did you have a seizure because of? Because I saw that, that ugly fucking car that blue car so because that car was the blue car and was ugly blue. you had a seizure <laughs> well when you say it like that it sounds stupid but my type of epilepsy makes it so whenever i see a blue car i have a seizure that's right. why i'm not allowed to drive well so right now, so if you I'm have epilepsy every time you see a blue it. car you probably shouldn't be out walking outside the house ever I'm, I'm quite concerned for your welfare. Do, do my police lights hurt you, sir, if they're flashing? Because, I mean, they're blue. I can't really see them. Uh, the uh, totem pole right there. God bless my native land. The totem pole. I don't see lights. no totem pole, sir. Are you sure you're not intoxicated? No, the one, the totem pole that says Mollus. Right behind you. I don't think that's a totem pole, sir. I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's a couple of posts with a sign on it. No, there's two totem poles, and it has signs on both sides. Control back to me. Right, okay, I'll write that down for my report as well, that you possibly blind. Um, Thaddeus, do you want to tell me what happened, sir? No, 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 wait, wait. We Mr. Just Campbell, call, Mr. We Campbell, just we've stopped. Poles, Mr. Totem Campbell, poles you're... Up. You no longer get to talk, sir. We're moving on to the next customer. Um, uh, Thaddeus, just hang on for one second, please. Thank you, 2090. Ten twenty eight when ready. Send it. Tom, Union, boy, boy, young, one. It's gonna be Tubby one. Tubby one. <laughs> Sam three twenty, your return. 
Go ahead. Comes back to a fast food brown panto to a fattiest tubby. Tubby, you said a, a fattiest tubby? Correction, fattiest tubby. Copy, and you said the color was a fast a fast brown? It is listed as fast food brown. Copy, fast food brown is the color. Okay, I wasn't sure that was aware I was aware of that dispatch, but thank you. Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, Sam 320, I really believe it's one food, of those, uh, don't assume my he's color like, situations. He's like me and Copy, my uh, native language of French. I don't know what's happening here. All fucking rights, bud. Mr. Campbell, can you please be quiet for a second? I'm trying to write down this report. I think you might have a concussion, and I advise you just to be, remain silent for a little bit, okay? I don't want you to hurt yourself. Or your tongue. Okay, Fadius, if you want to continue with your story, sir, about what happened here. Well, I hadn't even started. I was driving along... And all of a sudden, there was this blue car behind me, and next thing I knew, it uh, it, it crashed into us and flying off into the sign. Right. So this blue car came up behind you at a high rate of speed and nudged you in the back end. Is that correct? And pushed you into the sign. Well, it was honking and flashing its lights, I think, and no, oh, oh, bloody, oh, oh, bloody John, fuck, what, started having a seizure in the car. Right, okay, well, AMS is on scene checking his all out, so just keep that in mind. Arms were flapping around everywhere. Right, you said he hit you in the back end, is that correct? So. Right, I don't see a whole lot of damage to your, um, your tubby one, sir. It looks in pretty pristine condition to me. I see a lot of damage on his BMW, though. Are you fucking not looking at the side I'm on there, man? Hey, sir, watch your Look language, please. I'm here trying to help you. Fuck. There's not much... There's, I'm not seeing any clear, di you know, damage here at all. Look at this. Look at the, the side, bud. The, the front of tubby one is fucked, bro. Right, Tubby One, Tubby One, uh, the fast green delivery machine or whatever it was called over the dispatch. Um, it looks, it looks in pristine fast condition, sir, except that it's smoking. No, 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 no. Tubby One is cookie is fucked up. It's like a fucking right, okay. protein shortage. Jack All right, well, I'm going to take your word for it. Saskatoon. All right, I'm going to take like your word for it. The Tubby One contact. is fucked. Stand by. I've got to, I got to take some pictures. I've got to write this down for my report something. about Tubby One. Just give me one second. Okay, you yeah, need well, me to gonna... repeat my uh, kookier than a poutine charge at Carlin Monspiel in the middle of Saskatoon in the middle of winter? This car is in pretty pristine condition for me. Mr. Campbell, is your left leg okay? It looks like the uh, tubby one wheel might be on you, sir. Oh, fuck yeah. It's just a uh, little bit there. I think my uh, left leg foot is broken, but right, you know. Right, okay. Thank you. We'll okay, we understand, sir. He's through the pain. I don't know, chap. Pair of morons. Fucked up tubby one, broken windscreen in front of them. Okay, I don't see that at all. It's not quite that bad for me. Nope, wrong one. Hey Bash, how you doing buddy? Grab a camera we will. We've got Tubby One over here everybody. Alright, uh, Mr. Spinner. What, what kind of damage have you got? Yep. I see your car's smoking quite badly. There's a not much damage at the front, for me, in my eyes. It could be my glasses. The, the, the only damage I see is I some damage zero right nine. there, right in front of you on the back left bumper. Yeah, I'm seeing a bit of damage Around here on the back end. How, how did that happen? Postal one, two, eight, strawberry Ave. 
That was from when they ran into the back of me there in front of the yellow jack. Right, okay. Be out of the vehicle. You got a dash Probably cam, check. sir? Postal 128 Strawberry Ave. It's going to be at the double. No, bill. I do not. 10 All right, hang out here for one second. Uh, oh, she's Fatty, yes, does, does the brown brown delivery machine Tubby One have a dash cam or anything? No, I can't afford that. I just deliver fucking pizza, bro. Jesus, pristine as the day you Okay, got I, I personally probably think you eat the pizza before you deliver it, but that's just me. Oh, you fucking calling oh Fatty as a fatty? I'm... You're a cop, fucking... you're supposed to be nice! Get <laughs> this fucking car off my leg, eh, man? Fucking sue you for slander, bro. <laughs> man, get over here! Get this car off my leg! I fucking can't start it. No, I'm talking to the fucking cop! Cop, ram the car! Ram Tubby 1! Oh, as if I push Tubby 1 onto him. <laughs> Someone <laughs> ram Tubby One, get it off my leg. It hurts. Tubby One. Brown paint transfer from oh, Tubby One on hey. back driver side bumper. Oh no, I lost. Hey guys, down. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, okay. Got a bit of got a bit of a transfer of paint here. Loses left shoe. Thaddeus, you said to me that the blue BMW hit you from behind. I'm pretty sure it did, bro. Right, well the issue is he has rear end damage that has paint transfer from the brown Tubby One machine here, which doesn't really go with your your story of the event that happened. So do you wanna tell me again and tell me the truth or or what's gonna what's going on here? Oh well, well fuck. Bro, do I look like a rocket scientist? I don't know how gravity and paint works and all that shit. Right, it's it's not not that hard, Fatty. So you just kind of tell me, you know, did you rear end Mr. Spinner or not? It's pretty much that simple. Fucking Thaddeus is telling the truth. He fucking rammed us, I think. No, Thaddeus isn't telling us the truth Thaddeus? because the damage here doesn't line up with your guys' story. Is well, that a yeah, ghost? Nah, bro. That's a ghost! What was no. that, Thaddeus? I said, yeah, nah, I don't know. Right, so are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol, sir? Oh, uh, no. Uh, he's right. only under you got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you for the vehicle? Um, yeah, it's in the glove box. Right, go ahead and grab that for me, please. There you go. Can you confirm your name, please, sir? Hey, Sark. How are you, buddy? Thaddeus Tubby. Okay, Mr. Tubby, hang out. I'll be back with you. No one moves. Just stay here. Anyone got any weapons on them that they shouldn't have or in the vehicles? I have a weapon. I should I have don't. it, though. Okay. You shouldn't have it. No, I should have it, though. Okay, don't do anything you know, with it. um, actually... Yeah, officer, I wasn't done finished telling my story. Uh, you know, pizza business delivering out here is very dangerous. Okay. You need to carry a weapon with you. Jesus, what a rude man, eh? Uh, pretty you good, Sark. A little tired, but pretty good. These guys are giving me a run for my money. Well, I reckon if we gave him like a quadruple cheese, 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 cheese pizza, oh, he'd God. probably cheer up. <laughs> yeah, probably not. I only like pepperoni pizza. You might get in trouble if you leave, bro. I can't tell if anyone was speeding, though.
Mr. Spinner, can you come over here with me, please? Better do it quickly. Yeah. So, are you two gentlemen w willing to exchange insurance information? Now, I have enough evidence to s that states that Mr. Tubby here has obviously um, rammed into the back of your car. I, I can't really determine the speed or anything because there's no skid marks on the road or anything. And it's pretty much a he said, she said, except for the evidence pointing to the rear ending. So, the best I can do is give a careless driving ticket or something, but... um. Are, are you two happy to exchange insurance information and we can kind of go from there? Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, I guess so. Right, where did where did Mr. Um, what's his name go? Oh, he went to get you a pizza. From Lincoln, two, zero, nine. I didn't say he could zero, go, so whereabouldst did he go? Ten eight, my last. Yeah, if I was you, I'd probably ring him in and tell him to get here very quickly, yep. or he's probably going to end up arrested for leaving the scene of an accident. Um, but if you two just want to exchange insurance information, um, and I'll be right back, okay? Alright. Should we... I think we'll just give Tubby one a, um... I've written morning for careless driving. Writes down insurance information on sheet of paper. Alright, I think we'll just give him a written warning. Because he it looks to me like he was the one driving uh, in the wrong. And there's only a certain amount of um, evidence there. There's no um, skid marks or anything like that. What were they northbound? Okay, um... What? The insurance companies made up a new insurance oh, they're over claim. There. And here's the details. I was like, uh, where are they talking? Here you go. Well, I hope it cheers up. Oi, Campbell. Yeah, what's up, You ever leave the scene of an accident hey, and I'll bud. arrest you for leaving the scene of an accident, do you understand? Yeah, but I just want to go get you some No, pizza. I don't want pizza, nor did I ask for pizza, nor did I tell you to leave the scene of an accident. You seemed a little grumpy, so I Well, you're to about to be under you arrest for leaving the scene of an accident, and then you can really see how grumpy I am. Okay, man. Sorry, bud. Idiot. <laughs> All right, Thaddeus, you're getting a written warning today. It's for your, your aggressive, careless driving. It's not a citation, it's just a warning, but I need your signature at the bottom, okay? It's not an admission of guilt, it just means you understand what's happening. Yeah, okay, bro. You're very lucky you're not getting a ticket today. Now, have you guys ex finished exchanging in insurance Retro information? Lincoln 209. Lincoln 209, go ahead. Yeah, we have. Sure, about tonight. All right, do you both Lincoln need a tow truck? Correction, 458. I do. Mr. Spinner, do you need a tow truck? No, I can get my car to the shop. Alright, I'll get one tow truck then. Sam 320. Sam 350 Can I get one times 1070 to my location? Temple. Be advised, it's gonna be for Tubby 1. Temple, for the fast food brand. Yeah, that's an A firm, the fast brown hey, vehicle. Hey, Mr. Spinner, you want some uh, pizza? Cop didn't want any pizza. It's a quadruple, triple Cop cheese, didn't cheese, want any. cheese, 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 cheese pizza. You want some? All right. So, Mr. Yeah, Spinner. I think I'm good. Mr. Spinner, you're free to leave. Okay. Um, as long as you've got all the information you need from these guys, you're free to go and get your car fixed. Um, and we hope you have a safe, safe morning slash afternoon because it's kind of getting to lunchtime. 
All right, thank you, officer oh, that's or good, deputy. I could do some with some KFC. You could probably do with a, a rest uh, from eating. No offense. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I'm just trying to help you out in the long run. Is it past really lunchtime? Yeah, pretty funny, Cutting. That's the first time. I wasn't trying to be rude. Lunch. I'm just just trying to be. I'm just trying to be helpful, sir. I like lettuce and stuff like that is really good food. You may not have been trying to be rude, but you were. Right, okay. Well, I was just trying to be helpful. I'll, I'll stop being helpful. Definitely um, cutting. Go ahead. You're going to have off rotation. Kega towing. ETA, two mics for your really fast brown car. Copy. All right, Tubby One is getting a tow truck. Are you guys going to wait for the tow truck, or do you want me to wait and you guys can head off into the horizon and do whatever you need to do? I guess we better walk back to the pizza place. Walk. Yep. Yes. Sounds good, guys. I'll you... bring this triple cheese, 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 cheese pizza. Okay. Back. Well, I need a ride, though. No, no ride, sir. Oh, I yeah, can't you... walk that far. We are not giving him yeah, a lift. He's not fit out, cut out for this stuff. You were just talking to him like that, so I think he, he deserves a ride from you. No, unfortunately, my car he's has only got one spare version. seat in it, sir. What do you mean? You've got four doors. No, that's got some some stuff in the back. Some personal items. Oh, I need a rest. I need a rest. There it is. Come on. Come on, Thaddeus. It's alright. Keep going. Let's keep going. Come on, Thaddeus. Thaddeus, come on. No, I need to stop and have a rest. I need to stop and have a rest. Come on, bud. No, I can't. My legs are on fire, bro. <laughs> My legs are on fire. I can't believe this. Oh, fucking right, say, bud. Legs Look at these totem fire. poles. They're beautifully crafted with these tires. Oh, fucking right, say, bud. Just as well they put them up so I've got something to lean on. Jeremy RP is top nod. Thaddeus, uh, come on, man. Let's go. Alright, I think I can do the next bit of our journey. Right, the next bit go. of our journey. Well, that's a good screenshot. Go. I think yes for that. That looks amazing. Watch this. He'll probably stop on that side of the road. <laughs> oh, not for him, obviously. We're just going to stand here and watch. Can you please just give a ride, Officer Height? Sir, I didn't like the way you just ran at me. It was very aggressive. So do you mind just going back to the other side of the road, please, and just continuing on your voyage back to wherever it is that you got to go? No, thanks. Sir, you need to leave the scene of an accident now. I've asked you nicely. We're waiting I, for it. I forgot my keys. No. I forgot my keys to my challenger. All right, we'll grab, the glove box. Gr grab your keys then, and then you need to leave, please. If if I was you, I'd I'd probably offer Mister um, Thaddeus Thaddeus whatever his name was. Uh, maybe you could lift him on the back of your shoulders or something and give him a lift home. I don't know. It's up to you. Alright, you think I'm that strong? Strong? Alright. Thanks for Yeah, he's uh, coming back this way, so yeah. I would save him the walk and probably go race over there, sir. I haven't been working out much, but you know, I, I try and squeeze in the occasional lift at the gym, you know. I think I can bench about 220. You know, I've so, got to So, you need to go to the other side of the road, please, now. Move on. Thank you. This is my car. It's not your car, it's, it's, it's Fadius's car, actually. It's paid for by the company. It's a company. Okay, car. I've asked you to leave the scene of an accident now, so you need to leave, please. Jeez, Unless God. you're going to wait for the tow truck and then I can leave, it's up to you. Alright, have a good one. I, I, don't, I don't feel safe with Fadius over there walking all the way home by himself. He's now trying to hitchhike a ride. Are you kidding? No, this is not happening. 
Guys, I need you oh, to start so walking, please. Guys, can you please start? Over here! Out of the road! Here! here. Out of the road Excuse before you end me. up arrested. Oi! Step out of the road, Excuse please. Me. Miss, can, can our friend have a ride? Mr. Campbell, you can't be blocking the intersections or the roadway like that. But what do you want us to do? We can't walk. It's literally 200 meters to Sandy Shores, okay? I think you guys can manage. Tell that to Thaddeus. I, I just did tell it to him. He's gonna walk and then sit down at that next point. That's, that's, that's fine. I, I like to go for a run and take a seat no, for not. a little bit and then start so running slow. again. It's, it's completely normal. So why don't you go ahead, be positive and help your friend, okay? Be positive, oh, help your friend. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my god. Jesus. Why don't you be a good friend, Lord Mr. Campbell? Almighty. Go and help your go and help your friend, please. Look at that, the tow truck just arrived. Ah. Jesus. He won't want to be having a heart attack or something. I'm not giving him a lift. They can, they can literally walk. We'll make sure that they actually get there, though. I don't even think he would fit in my car. To be honest. <coughs> Sam 320. Sam 320. I'll be clear back 10-8. Sam 320, 10 6 Let's make sure they cross the road safely. You, you guys are right across the road, just make sure you look both ways, okay? Okay. I just want to make sure you just don't get hit by a car. It's the reason I stopped. Okay. Oh god, now he sees us so far. Okay, we're leaving actually. Have a good one, gentlemen. Yep, we're definitely leaving. Oh god. Yep. Please just give him a ride. Sir, please stop please aggressively officer. walking towards me and my police vehicle. Thank you. Yeah, we are not sticking around for that chat. No, thank you. The good thing is, we're no longer the only cop. Which is a good thing. In between these two bushes, I think will work for me. That metro unit is going to do me a lot of good. Oh, I thought he said county. That's why I thought he was out here. Oh well. Oh, it's far too hot. I got my glasses on, yep. That was a really good role play, to be honest. Trying to get rid of the old fuckers wasn't so fun, but I mean, we did it in the end. Sir, you are also very hungry and thirsty. Yeah. I'm not extremely hungry and thirsty, though. I'm just very, okay?
Yeah. There's a difference between very and extremely. Yeah, extremely means you're like starving and about to die, I think. Personally. I am actually going to go and grab a, a bottle of water in IRL though, so I'll be back in like one second guys, maybe two. to go. Counts to 26 before Thomas Buck. <laughs> Rachel, Lincoln 209. Lincoln 209. Oh, show me 10 8, updated in the CAD. River 1 Step issue. One. That car is going very slow. Maybe when I look at it. I haven't even looked at the um the chat yet to be honest. Been slightly busy. Uh ten ten, okay. I will read it. I thought that jester was coming flying from this angle. It's just doing a slow 31 miles per hour. It is the same, only different. Well, then it's not the same. Love this Caprice. It's a very, very good model. Listen here. You listen here, okay? What the actual fuck? Sam 320. Go ahead. I'm gonna be in the corner of Joshua and CV Road. Can you roll me one additional? I'm gonna be out with two lawnmowers. Staff all break, Lincoln 209 Metro. Lincoln 209. Edge head north to Joshua and CV to assist 320 on a 750 with two lawnmowers. Copy, I'll be in You are Copy kidding me. Sam Thor, break Sam 320. Go ahead. Making 209 and route, okay? 
Copy. We're actually going to be further north on Sea View towards Grape Sea. They're failing to yield at the moment. They are now pulling over. 10 plus. Advice for still when able. Copy. Post is going to be 1044. 1044. Sea View Road. 10 plus. 2 to the copy. 8 from my copy. Be advised, it's going to be a red and blue lawnmower. One lawnmower is red, one lawnmower is blue. No, officer, you probably don't want to stand on that side. That side's where all the grass comes out. It, it'll probably just kick up all the dirt on your. Yeah, uh, Mr. Campbell. Okay, I, I appreciate your um, you your concern for my wealth. Welfare, but, yeah, um, you look really nice, so I don't want you to get dirty or anything. No, no, like I don't want to get dirty, and I, I appreciate your um, concern, pain. Mr. Campbell. Uh, what is going to happen is both of you are going to step off the lawnmower, and you're going to come over to the side of the road next to me, so the lawnmower can't accidentally be hit into gear or accidentally turned on and spray grass everywhere, okay? Oh, can I drive mine over so I don't have no, to... No, fat, no fattiest. I just need to come over, stand on the grass. You can even sit on the grass if you like. That's completely up to you. No, don't, don't drive the lawnmower. Just go ahead and, that's it, take a seat on the grass if you need to. Now, I just spoke to both of you guys because you were involved in an MVA or whatever. And now you're driving lawnmowers on the road. I surrender, I'm sorry. You don't need to surrender, I'm asking what's going on with the lawnmowers and why are we driving them on the road? We were going to mow the grass. You were going to mow the roadway, were you? Because that's what I, I witnessed. Well, we got back to Mama John's pizza and because we Retro, crashed the car, she fucking made us get the looking. mowers out. And we have to bloody go and mow the bloody grass over here, apparently, at her house. Right. So, let me get this straight. You went back to Mama John's. The boss told you to grab the two lawnmowers and go and mow her grass. That's about the size of it, bro. Right. Oh, fucking right, bud. Right, I have a slight issue with that. One, I don't quite understand why you're, you're driving a lawnmower so far and your boss asked you to. Two, I don't understand why your boss told you to drive two illegal vehicles on the roadway. And three, you're impeding traffic at about 10 miles per hour and a 50. Nah, we were going 15, bro. Yeah, that's still 15 yeah, and a 50. You gotta get your facts straight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. I don't me. know don't why you have your hands up, Mr. Campbell. You're not under arrest. These are just the bloody mowers that Mama Bar John has. I understand that the lawnmowers that Mama John has, but you shouldn't be driving them on the roadway. You are you are doing 15 miles per hour in a 50. You're impeding traffic, and you don't even have brake lights or anything. She said it was okay, and she's the boss. Well, I mean, she's the boss, but she's not the one who's out here currently driving them on the roadway, which is illegal. So, whether she told you to do it or not, she's she's technically not in trouble because she's not the one doing it. Hey Thaddeus, on my well, count, let's run. Point. No, there's no running, Mr. Campbell. I, I, why would you say something stupid like that what? in front of I two didn't police say officers? Anything. Say anything. Because because now you're kind of you kind of putting me on edge and making me want to put you in cuffs because I feel like you might be about to take off on me. I'm sorry. I I, I won't do it again. Right. So go ahead and take a seat on the ground like Mr. Thaddeus here. Surrendering. I'm it's sorry. Mr. Tubby. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat. Alright. Sorry, I surrender. So, here's what's going to happen. At the moment, both these lawnmowers are going to be towed back to Mama John's. Either Mama John's or a house, I don't care which one. But you won't be driving them on the roadway for the rest Man, of the night, just okay? kill us. Uh, the, the second issue is, I don't know if, um... 
if Officer Richard over here actually wants to give you a lift, I, like I said, I've currently got some stuff on my seats and I can't actually take people in my car. Um, so he might, he might be kind enough to offer you a lift, but if he doesn't want to offer you a lift, then you guys are going to be walking on the side of the road back to wherever you need to go to. Oh, fuck no. Because I'm not really sure what part of driving the lawnmowers on the roadway you, you know about that, what you guys thought that was going to be a good idea. Well, bro, like, we just have to do what our boss says. Right. I, I understand your boss told you to do it. doesn't mean you have to do something that's illegal. Well, I didn't know it was illegal. Right. Yeah, I... he's pretty, pretty stupid. Don't blame him. No one's blaming anybody. I'm trying to state the facts so that you guys are aware of them and you don't make the same mistake again. You guys were already involved in an MVA about 30 minutes ago because you were reckless driving. Sorry. Yeah, and that's why we have to drive the bloody lawnmowers, because the car's gone. Oh, fuck I, I understand that, but the lawnmowers aren't road safe, so you can't drive them anymore, okay? Well, you're going to have to be the one who tells Mama John, because... Well, fuck I'm, I'm, gonna... I'm happy to give Mama John a, a phone call myself and tell her that she's, she's getting her lawnmowers towed. All right, have a good night, Charlie. That'd Thanks for dispatching. Funny, actually. What was that? Put it on speaker, bro. Uh. That'd be kind of funny. Can you put it on speaker? Bro? No, my phone's in the car. I'll probably just talk to her over there. Okay, it's probably a conversation that her and I should just have. Um. I already have all your details. I know who you are, but um, Officer Richard might just want to jog some stuff down on his notepad, and he might call a tow for your um lawnmowers, and we'll go from there. Okay. And I'll go and ring your boss. And explain to her what's happening. Right. Same type from you here, alright? Okay, so all of this is just them drive operating the um the lawnmowers. Yeah, they were driving the lawnmowers on the road and they were doing about fifteen miles per hour in a fifty, holding up traffic and everything. Okay, alright. Did you get down now uh, there? driver's license or IDs or anything? Uh, I don't have their IDs or anything because I already know them. One's a Thaddeus uh, Tubby and the other one is a John Campbell. Hold on. Hey, 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 get off the mower. Get off the mower. Oh my god. 320, we have one taking off. It's going to be a Thaddeus Tubby. It's going to be a blue lawnmower. Westbound Sea. Correction, Westbound Sea View. He's fairly to yield. Speeds are around 16 miles per hour. Traffic is light. Weather conditions are dry, dark. Red speed, low speed. Would you like to channel help with this? Negative. We'll just hopefully he'll run out of fuel or something. Ten four. I'll show you continuing west on view. Two zero nine from three hundred and twenty. If that subject just wants to have his mower towed, and uh, he can walk home or something if he lives close by. Copy. Just patting him down here real quick. He just jumped inside my car. Ten nine. He's in your car. He had jumped in my car. I got him back out. Just patting him down here real quick, and then I'll be able to assist you. Copy. Mr. Tubby, I need you to pull the vehicle over, sir. No, I can't. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Be advised, he just wrecked into a vehicle, join lane and see view. 10 4, signal 4, join lane and see view. Mr. Tubby, step out. Yep, there you go. 320, will this be a termination of pursuit? That's an AFM. He's now he's now uh, probably a medium jog. Uh, we're going to be westbound Sea View. Uh, we're currently in a big foot pursuit with a chubby. Ten four, show you a high speed foot pursuit. Yeah, copy. His speeds are probably around five miles per hour. Surprised he can run that far. Ten four, sir. Would you like air one? 
uh, be advised there. One wouldn't be able to miss him. He's still westbound, Sea View. He uh, looks like he's laying down. You might want to roll EMS. He's probably having a heart attack. Over. Ten four, sir. We'll have to call an ambulance for two counties over. We don't have any big enough. Uh, disregard. He got back Fucking up. Rock. He may have tripped on a rock, actually. Mister Tubby, stop or you'll be tased. Three twenty. Advise. He tripped on himself. Uh, he either tripped on himself or a rock, and he's now, he's stopped. He's got his hands up. Alright, go ahead and face the yeah, other way. Ah, uh, well. Mitchell looking at 209, requesting the tow, postal 1044. Mr. Tubby, what are you Wait, doing? 209, Bro, my boss will fucking kill me if well, you steal the lawnmowers. Go ahead and follow him. You got anything on his gun stick poke or hurt me? Lincoln 209 Metro. Go ahead. Right. You're gonna have off rotation Papa Joe's towing ETA 2 Max. This guy's probably going Step to jail. One. Fishing rod. I don't know where you had this fishing rod, sir. Oh, it's one of those fold up ones. Just just leave it, bro. Right. Okay, well, I'm gonna confiscate that for now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk back to my oh. car, okay? Sam 320. Sam 320. I'm gonna need another tow for this guy's blue lawnmower as well. Sam 4. Alright, Mr. Tubby, follow me back to the car, come on. Also, be advised, I'm gonna need a heavy transport unit. Sam 4, so we'll contact the military. Copy. Alright, come on, Mr. Tubby. Hey, are you fine to walk that far? Hey, Donald. Pretty good, dude. It's been Donald, a... Bro, can you go get the car? No, I well... Just wait here. I can't because your car's currently blocking the roadway because you decided to wreck into a jeep. I didn't decide to do that. The stupid bitch pulled out. Right, well, let me help you walk. Uh, Actually, it looks like the Crown Vic might be a good... legs are tired. Your legs are tired? Well, you just ran from me. Which I I'd imagine is very hard for you. Yeah, pretty funny. That's why they're tired. Go ahead. Military advising they have nothing big enough. They are suggesting you push him over and roll him. Can't be. There's a Crown Vic unit. We'll probably just try and squish him into the back seat. Try to see if he can fit. Yeah, Mr. Tubby, go ahead on to step on the other side of the vehicle, and we'll try and get you in this car. You might have to get in the car, Rich. Oi, fuck up. Get shit! Hey! Hey! No, you're a dick. Hey, that's enough. Go ahead and step in the car. Mr. Tubby, at this time you are being placed under arrest for fleeing and eluding. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand? I understand, but it's not fair, bro. Alright, go ahead and step in the back of the vehicle. You were just complaining that your legs were sore, sir. Sir. Well, they are. Okay, I'm gonna buckle you up. Damn, what a dip into my car. Yeah, she's leaning on this side. Oh, bro, the seatbelt doesn't fucking reach. Oh, God. Uh, Richie, if you just wanna come back to my car ride. and I'll try and get some of this traffic going, and then we'll go from there. Hey, hey, you can't... Yeah, no sir, problem. don't run up to the police like that, please. I've already told you about this. Sorry, where, where's Thaddeus? He's in the back of the car. Oh, he's in there! No, don't... Okay, no, move, no. Off, move off to the he, side of the road, Mr. Campbell. Mr. Campbell, he, to the side of the road. He needs his medication! Bro, the door's not even shut. No, no not I quite, Charlie. With him. What was that? No, I just, like, flew I need open. to be with him. No, no. All right, you need to go home, sir. Yeah, I need to be with No, him. you're no so longer involved. If, if, Mr. If Campbell, I, if, if, listen, if I... listen, you keep impeding in this police investigation, I'm going to arrest you for obstruction. Do you understand? So go home like I've asked you. Yeah. Oh, that feels better. Okay. okay, if I punch you, do I get to go to jail with Thaddeus? Okay, this is your last chance. Go home, please. Okay, jeez. No, not that way. I'm going home, my car's back. Okay, okay, you talk to anybody on this scene as you're walking past and look out. If I punch you, do I get to go to jail? Go ahead. 
Be advised by the tow truck went ahead and put both lawnmowers on, on their truck, towed it. I'm just standing by here by your vehicle. Copy, I'm in my car out of the right way. What's he doing? Officer. Oh shit. Officer. Yes. Officer. That that truck was impeding. That black sand king was obstructing my line of walk into my car. Yeah. So whose car is this one over them? there? This gray blister. That's my car. Okay. So why are you impeding traffic after I literally just told you to not to do that with your lawnmower? I parked it there. Move over to the side of the road. Because. No. Oh my goodness. Alright, Mr. Tubby, go ahead and step out for me. Oh, bro, I only just got in. Yeah, my car, you're going in my car for now. Richard, are you right to deal with Mr. Campbell? He, he seems to not understand the bit where I've said do not impede traffic. Mr. Tubby, follow me. Mr. Campbell. Oh, sorry. 22, 22, 22. Oh, no! I surrender. I'm sorry. Do not I'm swing sorry. at a police I, I'm officer, just... sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I have a I have a seizure disorder where um where whenever I see a blue car, I oh. flinch. Sorry. I didn't mean Is to that do so? that. I just yeah, apparently this yeah. happened earlier. He saw a blue car and had a seizure as well. Fucked if I know. Mr. Tubby, gotcha. follow me. Yeah. Hey, look, Mr. Campbell, look. Uh Knock his ass out, Crispy. He almost copped it a lot more. Okay. Okay, thanks. Y yeah, he takes, um... Yeah, that crap needs to stop. of Lorenzapine. Oh, yeah, I was ready. I was waiting for it, because he told me he was going to punch me earlier. It's his heart attack. It's a, his heart attack pills. I don't have any on me. I don't know if I just need my new glasses or it's something. over to the jail, alright? But your car's right, been stuffed. Uh, sir, I hit a pole back there accidentally. I wasn't watching where I was going, because I was watching you and your dopey friend. Oh. Yeah, I was very ready for that punch. I, I don't know if he if he really did mean not to do that or not because it looked pretty legitimate to me. Ten four break all units. Tom three and three will be ten seven ten forty two. Thanks for dispatching. Have a good night. Um. Good luck, three twenty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he meant it as well, crispy. To be honest. Stand 320, Lincoln 209. Uh, did you need me to assist you over at the jail? Oh, bro, could we get some Negative, I'll be 10 4, thanks. Way? Thanks for your backup. What was that? 10 4, no problem. Bro, could we get some KFC on the way, please? Nope, I don't like KFC, and you're going to jail, unfortunately. Oh, but, like. Bro, KFC. Crispy, you should already be whitelisted for the server. If you have the Discord role, you should be able to just get on. Should be able to just get on, dude. Mr. Tubby here just wants to eat junk food. Yeah, Donald, this guy's a comedian. You're off Tuesday, Chris. Right, step out, Mr. Tubby. Unfortunately, you made some bad decisions tonight, that's why you're going to jail. Oh, nice, Crispy. Cruise sounds cool. I've been working a lot as well. Right, face the desk.
Right, just hang out here and I'll do your report, okay? Alright. Just because he's fat doesn't mean he gets to... I sit to... down? I'm, I'm not feeling so good. Doesn't mean he gets to do the wrong thing. Yeah, if you want to sit down there on the floor, that's up to you. <sighs> it's so damn hot. Um, but um, but um. We'll just give him the one charge. He doesn't need a whole lot. Okay. So get off the counter, please. Mr. Campbell, okay, you're under arrest, I think, at this point. No, I have his medications. Well, I found his medications. It's his heart attack pills. His heart attack pills, so now he has heart attack pills. He's always had heart attack pills. Okay, well, I'll take them and what you're free to doing? leave. There you go, you're free okay. to leave now, Mr. Here Campbell. He's having a heart attack, I no, think. No, he's not. You're free to go. You keep impeding in a police he investigation, and I've had enough. Jesus. He's having a heart attack. Give You're about to go to jail. Out. You're about to go to jail and have a heart attack yourself. Oh, Jesus. Mr. Tubby, are you okay, sir? I've got chest pains, bro. Okay, here's your tablets. Do you need a glass of water? Yes. All right, hang out. Food. Oh, you're not getting any food. I can give you some water, though. Alright. Here's your well, couple the, of pills. The I'm... bottle says to take it with food. Yeah, well, we can get some food once we get in, you into our holding cell, okay? But uh, I'll just give you the tablets for now, okay? With some water. We might just have one tablet to be on the safe side instead of the recommended dosage because you're not eating currently. Oh, thanks, bro. No worries. Hang out here. If, if you're still feeling like that in another five minutes, we'll call a medic, okay, to check you out. Alright, I like I said to you, you've been charged with fleeing and eluding. It is a $150,000 um, bail, so do you want to pay that or do you want to be incarcerated? No, I can't afford that, bro. I deliver pizzas. Alright. Um, like, you'll be seeing a judge and all that. You may you may be able to make some kind of deal or something. Out of the vehicle. I'm not really Zero sure, five, but um, you're gonna go to a holding cell five. now, and you'll hopefully get some food there, okay? Okay. All right, go ahead and stand to the double doors right over there next to the water cooler. Yeah, I wouldn't give this guy much either. And a booking officer will take you away. Uh, 18. Couldn't afford his bail. Look at the fuck up. It's too funny. <laughs> Sam 320, I'll be clear back tonight. Well, we'll fix the... F I don't know if we actually have any damage to the car. I mean, I hit that pole, but I don't think it really did anything. For me. I don't think it actually dented it. Dented it, 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 it. Oh, I pushed the bumper out a little bit. Old. We'll fix that at the station. It's no big deal. Hey Jonathan, welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing? Let's 
Let's hope we don't see any more lawnmowers and fat people. I think that would be a dream come true. Oh, it is so hot. Be pretty busy for an hour. Got a Jeep Rubicon over here. Almost rolled the stop sign. Yeah, Donald, I was pretty much on the last straw with Mr. Campbell. He was actually about to go to jail because he just wouldn't listen. And he wouldn't respect the, um, you know, the directions that we gave him. We were pretty lenient and stuff, and, um... Jeez, that guy's... Mm. I don't have an issue with people driving like that on a dirt road. Hell13, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Looks like someone else followed and Stream Elements decided not to say who it was, so thank you to whoever that was as well. Charlie, thanks for the subscription. I really appreciate it, buddy. I do appreciate that, my friend and fellow admin. Thank you to zero nine back in the car tonight. Looks like Richard's finally got back to his jurisdiction after having to help us with the the uh, ridiculous lawnmower issue right there. I go and sit on Route 68. I don't think we've ventured down there just yet. We pretty much made it into Grapeseed though.
Well, that was nice of the green cyclist to move over for us. How jolly good of him. I kind of need to just find somewhere else to um, do some radar along here. I think that'll be alright for a little bit. Bit of a quiet down and catch up with the stream. I kind of want to park somewhere though that has bushes on either side sort of thing though. I don't think there's many areas like that on 68 though. We need to add some more trees down here. Well, that camper might give us enough cover there if we go behind that fence. Might be an alright spot to sit for a little bit. Lincoln 209, be out at 5 to 9, Spanish Air, reference paper service. Now that camper should give us enough cover there. I'm going to fix the car just because someone will probably say when we pull up somewhere that, oh, it's broken or something, when it's not for us. So we might just give it a light fix. car's definitely good for us, but you never know. Jonathan, thanks for the two bits. I really appreciate it. I don't know why the bits thing isn't working. I just don't know. I'm gonna tab out really quick and find out. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. I added a new bits gif and it's just not working for whatever reason. I don't know why. Lincoln 209, 10 8 paper serve. Okay, 129. Sam 320, I have a red sports car westbound Route 68, 130 miles plus. Looks like he's wrecked. Uh, not really sure what happened here. He just took out a sign. Too fast for you. Bring it to zero. I'm going up to the Route 1 stage. Colby, I've got him pulled over Postal 925 Westbound Route 68 if you want to roll this way. Be occupied Copy. times two. Copy, I'll be on route from Brownwood. I don't know if they crashed or or what happened just then. Too fast for you. That's what we have, a Dante. D A N T E. 
pistol registry. Hi sir, officer, correction, deputy Hyde with Blaine County Sheriff's Department, how are you? Thanks, how are you? Pretty good, it, what, happened, what happened back there? You come out of the windscreen or you crashed or what happened? Uh, I was just crashed. We, uh, pole. You crashed into a There's pole? A, we were just, yeah, well not a, like, wooden pole. Like, not the telephone pole into, you see those side poles right beside us? Those wooden ones? Right. Small ones? And then what, you got out of the car to have a look at your damage, did you? And then you thought you'd just take off? No, I didn't. I didn't get out of the car. Right. Uh, driver, do you mind stepping out of the vehicle and come over to the side of the road for me, please? Uh, bad boys, you can play as cops, yes. It's 5M, dude. It's a One modification. Second, let me take my seatbelt on. Or off. Okay, also, yeah. I do have a uh, weapon on me, but it's registered. Okay, can you confirm your name, sir, and give me your license registration as well while you're getting out of the vehicle and coming over to the side of the road? Yep, yeah, one sec. How about you put the gun away? There you go. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's Dante Thunderstone. Okay, Mr. Thunderstone, are you in a hurry to get somewhere today? Uh, no, I was just seeing how fast I could get it up to. Uh, I just got it from the shop. I was seeing how fast I could get back to. Um, there's a cougar! Officer! Oh. Officer! Uh. Officer, are you alright? Officer! Uh. Officer! Uh, do you know CPR? Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh my god! Do you uh, know CPR? Dude, dude, the know. cop just got... The cop uh, just got killed by a cougar or the something. Cop, we didn't I need do a medic! I need a medic! I need a medic! I need a medic! Oh my god! Fuck, what the fuck? are you alright? No! I'm not alright! We a traffic stop and the fucking thing came running down. He fucking bit my leg, dude! Oh shit! Oh, oh fuck. Alright, okay. right, you guys stand no, back. No, I'm not okay. He bit my leg and arm. Oh, he bit me like on the ass. Leg 209. Need a medic at this location. Coast is gonna be 925, repeating 925, Route 58. Oh, his Crown Vic's a little fucked up. Bad boys, thanks for the follow, dude. Oh, I think it bit my ass actually. As well. It was like my thigh and my. Oh. Is it bleeding? Holy is my ass bleeding? Jesus. Yeah, it looked like it took a good chunk out of that ass cheek. Oh, enough, huh? God. <laughs> Damn, man. Came out of nowhere, I know, right, Donald? I think well, I need a medic. Be, um, I think I'm gonna bleed there. out. Yeah, yeah, they're on their way. I think I'm bleeding out. Nah, it's, it's alright. It's, it's alright. Hold uh, on, let me grab yeah, some McDonald's only, napkins dude. or some shit. I think I, I need, I need, I need help. Can someone apply pressure to my bum, please? Here, one sec, officer. Usually, I, uh, it's don't do this zero. till a few dates in, but, uh, you know, I'll make a special, ex a special, uh... Are you gonna talk, or are you gonna you. put pressure on it? No, I'm putting pressure on your ass. I Thank know, you. I'm feeling you up. It's bleeding. Don't worry, just... I know, I'm sorry, usually we I'd take you out to dinner first, but you know. Hey. I'll just like um <clears throat> I'll just do some voodoo shit and that might help as well. I don't want no voodoo shit, I, I want my ass cheek back. I used to do voodoo uh help. Where's Richard? I need Richard! He just ran off over the hill. Oh god. Yeah, Jonathan got a weird RP. I mean, we've got no choice, we have to RP it. You, dude, you nearly shot me when you shot that cougar. It is actually. Yeah, sorry. Oh, 
Uh, You're still alive, I, though. So. Well, I could be dead. <laughs> ah, you'll be all right. I'm just it probably would have been. Uh, is my ass cheek there? Is my ass cheek still there, or, is yeah, it, or yeah, did he swallow good. it? We can sew it back on. It, it needs to be no, sewed back on. Still there. It has to be yeah, sewed back on. Oh god. Back on. We're going to need to take you to the ER, probably. Oh well, god. You know, they like they do a pretty good job these days. Can't we just stick it back on or something? I've got some super glue in the car. Oh, actually, I think I think we'll leave it to a professional. Thanks. Oh, uh, you know, super glue is actually designed for that purpose, right? Oh, do you, um, Rich? That sucks, dude. For some bash. I haven't actually back. crashed yet. We're not ass cheeks specifically, but it was developed by the military to shut wounds so people didn't bleed out in the field. Right, right, okay, I, I don't think I really want, I just want someone to apply pressure and where's the medic? <laughs> Alright, well I'll stop the voodoo then, because I'm, to be honest, I don't think it's helping that much. No, it's not. Hey man, you're lucky. I'll see if I can it, see if, the medic. If I didn't shoot Cougar, you would have been mauled to death and probably me as oh, well. Oh, really, Richard? Uh, whoever just gifted the the sub to Richard, thank you. Uh, it's anonymous, but thanks whoever did that. I, I appreciate it, guys. I'm sure Richard really appreciates it as well. Where'd Rick Where'd the other officer go? He, he's he's having out of this world experiences, if you know what I mean. He's 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 having the time of his life. I'm not though. I had my ass bit. All right, bro. The ambulance is just. Oh my up. god! Hopefully they throw me on a bus. All right, medics are here. Good. It was probably you, Charlie. They're yes, having a pretty bad day, aren't they? One down to a mountain lion, one down to some aliens. Hey, can Still someone grab the piece? Mouth. Can someone <laughs> grab the piece of butt uh, cheek from his mouth and yeah, then I'll it. try to see if I can paste it back on there. I think the medics have got the rest of it over. Here we go. I got it. Right They're probably going to super glue it back together. Alright, I got you. Alright, man. We're going to go ahead and try to see if we can help the medic super glue your ass cheek back. I don't like Rich very much. Oh, whatever. <laughs> what do you mean it's just a bite mark? I'm missing my ass cheek. Yeah, it's just a piece of skin that I collected. I, I don't. I don't know. There you go, medic. Uh, why the medics look at me? Can you just... Why are you guys traveling 130 miles down the road? Yeah, pretty much. What's up with that? Wait, what's up with what? Why, why, Mr... So what you running down... Mr. Dante, you're running at 129 miles per hour and a 50. What's up with that? Hey, I just saved your life. Can't you just give me a break on this thing? Well, or I mean, you were doing over double the speed limit. You were nearly doing like 10 times the speed limit. Yeah, you did I was save just your life, you know. Testing it out. Yeah, I did save your life, man. You would yes. have been eaten alive. I removed some of this traffic. Now. I'll be right back. You're very lucky you saved my life. You'd, you'd probably go to jail. Yeah, well, that's good. Alright, well, slow it down. You guys are free to go, and thanks for saving my life, I guess. Thanks for uh, saving the rest of my ass. Yeah, you're welcome. I thought he got my leg and arm, but it was just my ass cheek. Probably better, to be honest. Like, there's no no essential things in there.
My ass is essential, thank you. Yeah, true. Have a good one. Yeah, slow it down. I wasn't All trying. Right, to. said that you should be good now. They pasted that little piece of skin up there. I suggest you go get like a maxi pad or something, man. That was a little flesh wound. Oh, thanks, medics. Thanks for helping my ass issue. Thanks, Richard. I try. I couldn't do much. Just collected the the piece of skin from there, you know. I couldn't really arrest them after he shot the the cougar after it bit my ass. Yeah, he literally saved your life. Well, to be honest, he almost shot me as well, shooting the cougar. It was with good intentions. Yeah. All right. I think I'm. I just want to sit in my car and just sit on the side of the road. I think for a little bit. So, thanks for coming down. If he speeds <laughs> again, though, we're arresting him. Doesn't matter that he saved my life. Uh, all right. No problem. Call me anytime. Oh my god. Damn, was that another one? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's time for me to go back to the city. I don't gotta worry about none of this bullshit. I, I think I might come and join you, to be honest. Oh my god, we're getting out of this fucking hell hole. I don't know what's going on here with all these cougars, but we do not want none of that. None of that spaghetti at all, chat. Second 209, back to 10 8, and route back to the jurisdiction. 320, same traffic. Well, that was a very interesting traffic stop. Certainly didn't go the way I had planned at all. <laughs> oh, the motorhomes are still down there. You like the engine sound, Jonathan? Yeah, it's not bad. I'm a better, I'm a bigger fan of the Charger engine sound, but I, I do like the the Crown Vic and the Capri sound. Well, hopefully they don't come back this way speeding again. Otherwise we might have to actually do something about them. We might head further down westbound on 68. Might head towards the one. I'm really hoping it cools down, it is so hot.
Donald, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Have a really good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out in the stream. We could probably do with some, food, like, some water and food. any money out. Heck me. Rip. Thank goodness this works. No. Nope. to zero nine back in jurisdiction tonight. It will not come to Xbox, bad boy. I'm about ninety nine point nine percent sure about that. Best on. Lincoln 209, business check 399, this is Richie Boulevard, 399 business check Every time Boulevard. Richard keys up, I feel like he's going to say 10 7, 10 42. This thing does not turn the very sharp at all. some radar, see if we catch anybody.
Yeah, it's all good, dude. <laughs> Lol, bash. Back in the car tonight. How are you enjoying the server, Richard? It's been a pretty active patrol tonight, actually. Apart from getting killed by a mountain lion. Good to hear, dude. Yeah, I always have some of them every now and again when I go home as well, Vash. Uh, the city, the city was meant to be getting a, um, I mean, technically you guys have the CVPI, which you're driving, um, Rich, but, um, the F-150 was meant to be getting a PD skin on it. I believe it's now getting a sheriff skin and... PD is meant to be getting a 14 charger at some stage, I believe. And the F-150 is going to replace the Silverado for County. And the Silverado is going to go to Fish and Wildlife, I believe. I think it's what's happening. Yeah, I, I love my F-150 in the city, but um, I kind of wanted the 14 Charger as well. So I had to compromise a little bit. Yeah, you can run the unmarked F-150 in the city. Yeah, exactly, Jason. Oh god, Richard, I mean. Sorry. I don't know why I was thinking of Jason. It's hot and it's been a long day. Thinking to zero nine business check, family dental, 134 Strawberry Ave, 134 Strawberry Ave. Yeah, it's probably 25 ish here at the moment. I have to check again. Yeah, it's about, it's at 25 at the moment, which is still too hot for me.
I don't do this hot weather. Hmm. Oh, really, Bash? <laughs> no. 10 degrees is like great for me. Sam 320, I'll be in route to that no one one call. Then get to zero nine. I'm in the car at ten eight. I'll be by right one, ready to stage. It's not really an emergency. This thing has pretty good acceleration. And 33. I think that's in Sandy. Does anyone know what kind of vehicle description it was? I thought maybe it was that Panto, but now I'm not so sure. Possible drunk driver, white sports car. No, well that Panto is not a sports car. I just saw that Panto and it looked like it went in the dirt, that's why I turned around on that. Okay. Really? You're gonna continue? That's interesting. Sam 320, I'm gonna be active 1031 westbound Route 68 with a white and red banshee. It's heavily damaged. He's oncoming lanes in the dirt. Still westbound. This is a crazy, crazy night. Still westbound, approaching the 24-7. Still westbound, passing the 24-7, approaching the intersection of Joshua. Be going northbound Joshua towards Sandy. Speeds in excess of 80. Traffic's medium. Yeah, bad boy it is. That bench is a lot quicker than the Caprice. Gonna be going eastbound Joshua now. We lose eyes. Be advised, I lost eyes at Calafia. He may have done a U turn back there. Uh, no, it's not AI, I don't think.
the worst thing about first person driving is your point of view is pretty pretty not there. I reckon he went up here on the dirt road. Back into zero now. What was the vehicle description? It's gonna be a white primary banshee and it's gonna have a red racing stripe. It's extensively damaged and smoking. Copy. Just giving it to the Caprice at this point. Yeah, they have a head start on me wherever they went. Maybe they went down Calafia. We'll head down that way for a quick look. Could have turned down one of them roads as well. Not really sure where they may have gone, guys. We'll check stab out. They might have gone into stab. It's a pretty popular hangout zone. Always a good idea, I agree, Bash. Sam 320, be advised, Stab City's clear, unable to locate the vehicle at this time. Linking to 09, copy. Hmm. I don't know. Might change the vehicle to a charger. I don't normally change cars in a stream, but I plan on streaming for a little bit, so we might as well change it up for a little bit. Looks like we're gonna have a pretty wicked sunrise too. I feel like he made a ride on the dirt road, went along Joshua and he went back on Panorama or something. Red sports car travelling in reverse at a high rate of speed near Yellow Jack. Well, I was going to change the car. Licking 209. I have a red sports car here on Route 58. 
driving erratically. Copy, Sam, 320's in route. I don't know if this is the same vehicle or not. How far along are you westbound? It's gonna be westbound around 68. Close to both is gonna be 930. 930 is just east of 930. Probably I have a visual. Yeah, that's not the yeah, same car that I saw. Bust a, I gotcha. He just busted Yui, went in reverse, almost hit a couple of vehicles, and um, swerved back around. So, go ahead and get him for the erratic. Yeah, all right then. It was occupied times too. The car that I'm looking for, um, I, they were both white males. I didn't really get a visual on their face though. All right, I'm gonna try to see if uh, this is it. Yeah. At least if they change cars or something. Yeah, maybe. Hey, how you doing, man? It it's is Officer bad boy. Oliver with the Los Santos County, uh, Los Santos Police Department. The reason why I pulled you over was because of that stunt that you just pulled on 68, flipping around, going in reverse, and all of that. You have your license registration on you? Yeah, I do. All right, is this vehicle registered to you? Yeah. All right. The name is uh, Dante Thunderstone. Is that you, Mr. Fat Ugly? I don't know. Nope, it's Mr. Fatugli, though. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. Alright, so you said Dante Thunderstone? Yeah, Dante Thunderstone. As always. Alright, go ahead and cut off the vehicle for me real quick, and I'll be right back, alright? You boys, you boys seen a white um, banshee with a red racing stripe? Nope. I can't say that. Sounds pretty ugly. Right. So you guys know nothing about the white banshee? I don't know. What you're talking about, officer? Right. Right. Well, I saw a white banshee with a red racing stripe, and it was going pretty fast and driving quite erratically. Occupied times two. And I might have to go and review my dash cam later, but, um, yeah. Oh, well, I hope you find the guys. But yeah, guy. yeah, I mean, I, I think I will when I review it and just get a positive ID on the faces of them. What do you... Do that. Whereabouts are you guys coming from? We're just ripping around, driving around, you know. Just ripping around. I like how you use that phrase. It kind of makes me feel like you're going over the speed limit by ripping. Nah, ripping around. It's one of my Canadian friends taught me the language. Just fucking yeah, over it's, rip. You know, just it's driving around. Canadian for driving the speed limit. Right. So, whereabouts did you guys just get this car from? Oh, I've had it it's for... the same car that we were in earlier. Right, right. Two years? It's got, it's got a bit of damage on the back end. Yeah, that was, um, I hit one of those wooden poles when I was doing a switch around. Right. What, what, what do you mean by a switch around? It's like a reach around, but different. Know. It's like a reach around, but different. I, I don't quite follow, sir. Your other officer no. is booking me for doing the switch arounds. Yeah, but what's the switch around? Where I drive backwards. Right, and then chuck it in, and then like turn the steering wheel, chuck it in drive or first, and just take off. Yep, just. So you're doing a J turn on yep. the roadway, is that what you're telling me? No, what it is is just doing a spin around, just driving straight, and then you pull the brake, do a little turn, and then put chuck it in reverse, drive backwards, do another switch around, do. 
Hold the brake. Perfectly harmless. Forward. Perfectly Keep harmless. Right. Hang out here then. Hey, are you running them any tickets? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just stated to me that yeah, the right. switch arounds or J turns, whatever you want to call them, apparently that's, it's perfectly safe and, you know, no one's getting hurt and whatnot, so they've got a great attitude about it. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Right, I'm trying to figure out what, I, what I'm going to get them for. I got a couple of things here I'm looking at. Yeah, sounds good. Drifting, yeah, sounds like it. I'm pretty sure they're the two from the Banshee, but I, I can't remember what they looked like when I went past. I'm 90% sure it was them though, but it's kind of meta if I was to do anything about it, because I didn't really get a decent look. Uh, it's up to Richard on what he wants to do, but I mean, they were recklessly driving, which is aggressive, careless in what they were doing, so it, it could be towed. They could also be arrested for what they were doing and charged for up to 90 days. But it's all up to Richard and what he wants to do with these, with, with the driver anyway. The, the passenger's kind of, he's complicit with it, but um, he's not driving or anything, so he would just get to walk away pretty much told to make better choices, hang out with better friends. That makes a pretty cool screenshot, I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah, they can be handcuffed and towed in game. That's possible as well, if that's what you're asking. Good catch, Ghost. Hey, can you hurry it up? I'm kind of bored. Can you hurry it up? I'm kind of bored. No? Hey, look, since he stepped out, go ahead and keep him out. I'm about to tell this Oh, shit. yeah, I see him. I didn't even see that. All right, Mr. Fatugli, go ahead and face the other way for me, please. Why? Because you just decided to step out of the vehicle on a traffic stop, so go ahead and face the other way. You got anything on it that's going to stick, poke, or hurt me? No, I didn't do anything wrong. Right. I just got out to have a Go spot. ahead and face the other way then. But I'm just having a It spot. doesn't matter. You cannot legally get out of the vehicle on a traffic stop and do what you want. Now you're subject to be searched, so go ahead and face the other way. First I've heard of it, I think you're just making things up. Now. Yeah, I'm not making it up, it's in the penal code, sir. If you want to Google it, you're more than welcome to. Go ahead and face the other way. Can I Google it before I face no. the other way? No, you either face the other way now or I'm going to detain you in handcuffs. Hey, don't oh, you talk to him hell. like that. Put this shit out, hope it doesn't start a fucking bush. Yeah, fire. well, next time don't light a cigarette. You got anything on it's gonna stick poke hey, me? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, what are you doing? Why are you getting out of the vehicle like that? Oh, she's going down. Why are you getting out of the vehicle like that? You she's know what? Come back this way. She's come back this way. Down. Put your hands up. He got out. Put your hands up and come back this I way. I think he had a gun in his hand too. Oh. Come backwards to the, come backwards to the sound of my voice. Come back to the sound of my voice. Alright, stop. Yeah, just hang out here, Mr. Fatugli. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Mr. Fatugli, follow me over here, please. I'm glad you said my name right for once. Okay. The issue is, you got out of your car on a traffic stop, okay? You can't legally do that, okay? Officer safety, we don't know if you're armed or dangerous. We are within our rights to search you. You're more than welcome to look that up. It's up to you. 
But next time you're on a traffic stop, just don't get out of the vehicle unless you ask and the officer tells you to, okay? Yeah, okay. I mean, now, your you friend, know me, I don't have bloody weapons. I understand that, but we don't know that. And the last time that I was on a traffic stop with you, you decided to punch me and then you went to jail. But the reason your friend is in handcuffs is because he decided to get out of the car in a threatening manner and do whatever the hell he decided to do. So, just go ahead and take a seat right here on the grass and don't move, okay? Alright. Because I'm not sure what's going to happen to him now. But that's it. So you had a gun in the vehicle. You were registered to have a concealed carry, but you didn't let me know during this traffic stop, oh. this entire traffic stop until just now. Well, you guys have seen me before, and I let you guys know uh, that I had a gun, so I thought you guys wouldn't remember. Sorry. Nah, there's no remembering. They taught you in concealed carry class that as soon as you get approached by law enforcement, if you have your weapon on you and your concealed carry permit, you need to let law enforcement know that you have that. Alright, sorry. It's all, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and pass you down here real quick, alright? Yeah, he had a gun on him. If they hadn't got out of the car, everything might have been okay. Um, the issue is they got out of the car in a traffic stop. How the hell you fit a machete in your pants pocket without cutting your balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I have a uh, protector over the machete. Oh, okay, it's I got on you. the outside okay. of my leg. It's... Oh, okay. Kind of just got standing so I can kind of view okay, I got both you. of them. Alright, so I'm gonna ignore all the, you know, the alcohol you have in your vehicle, I'm gonna ignore uh, the machete and the guns and stuff like that. I would arrest you for the infractions and stuff that you've committed, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut you a break, okay? I'm feeling, I'm feeling nice and I gotta pick up my girlfriend and go off duty here in a little bit. But I am writing you citation, alright? Your citation is gonna be for careless driving, failure to maintain lane, speeding 10 to 19 miles an hour over the speed limit. All right, and, and then also, miles. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait. wrong way. So you was doing 11 over the posted limit. Okay, I believe this road oh. is 35 miles an hour. You was doing 30. Uh, it's doing a 50, 40, Richard. What was it? 44. It's a 50. It's 50. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's 50, and I well, was doing 40. Well, I was don't. Oh, oh, all right, that's no problem. I, I need to go back and look at what the uh, thing was, but. If my deputy here says that he knows best, so I'm going to go ahead and scrap that off. But you still have careless driving. Yeah, it says 45 on the speed and, limit um, thing in the car. It's technically 50. What was it? Though. Driving the wrong way down, um, down the lane, all right? All right. 45 or 50 is acceptable. Just hang tight here for me real quick, all right? Okay. I'll watch them both. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go get the paperwork here. Not really sure what they were thinking. Yeah, exactly, Ghost Town, and some just, um, some servers make their own, like, they change some of the, um, signs and stuff, and put their own speed limits in and stuff. But, um, Ryan pretty much went through, um, when I was in the car, you would have seen the speed limit things. Ryan pretty much altered them to, uh, speed limit that he felt was right, so we just go by whatever they say, which is 45 along here, but 50 is pretty much acceptable. I mean, it's 45 for a truck, but, I mean, it's, it's only five mile difference. I normally go by 60 on the highways, but he's made it 70, which is okay. AI do All 79. All right, so what's going to happen here, because of the situation with the careless driving, and especially the wrong way violation, your vehicle's going to go ahead and get towed here, all right? So mm -hmm. you'll be able mm -hmm. to, to collect your vehicle. You just have to pay your your um, your fines and everything like that, and you'll be able to recollect uh, your vehicle from that, all right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll handcuff you, and then I'll just need you to sign your, um, your tickets here. I went ahead and scratched and amended the speeding. Since that was my that was my fault, I admit to that. And then, um, so just sign. It's not saying that you're admitting guilt or anything like that. It's just saying that you received the receipt of the ticket. All right. Uh, 
All right, here you go. Just sign here. Yeah, Vash, exactly. There you go. ACDC right. AC one one six. Thanks for the follow, dude. All right. So from Welcome what's going on here now, uh, like I said, we're gonna have to tow the vehicle. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to either hoof it or you're gonna have to try to find a ride. Both you and your the partner. The alerts are very hit and here, miss okay? for some reason. All right. You have any questions for me? No. All right, man. Do you want to ca gather any of the alcohol and stuff like that that's that's in this, the car? I had booze in there? Shit. Yeah, just like, it was like one one bottle that I saw when I walked up, that was it. But it wasn't uh, open, so I'm not, I can't gig you on that. Nah, they can throw it out. I don't give a shit. Alright. I don't give a it's shit. Alright, well, those boots are made for walking. You're gonna have to go. Alright. <laughs> those boots are made for working. Uh, for walking, I should say, not working. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's hit and miss though, Vash. I don't know. Alright, Mr. Fatugli, you're free to go and stand up and carry on on your way, sir. Thanks for your cooperation. Just remember those um, pointers I gave you, okay? Um, did you give me pointers? Yeah, I did. Were they? Unless you're still going to continue to get out on a traffic stop and do whatever the hell you want, and then you'll continue to be oh, cuffed and searched yeah. and whatever else happens to you. Alright, I won't get out on a traffic stop. Alright, have a safe one, boys. Alrighty. I wonder what they're talking about. What are you well, looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> uh, I think we should go our separate ways. <laughs> I think that. I think it's request for the tow. We should go in our separate ways. I think they're having a lover's tip. Oh. All right, that was lovely. Yeah, exactly, Ghost Town. Oh, they're coming back. Yeah, there's none on at the here? moment. Yeah, I think it's just that bottle of um, whatever was in there. I think that's about it. Pulled over twice today. Yeah. Um, that's just ridiculous, okay? kind of want to take it for myself, but, you know, that's what happens when you got an inventory hey, stuff. don't you take my car. What? No, not your car. I'm talking about the bottle of booze. Ah, uh, you can take that. It's my gift to you. Nah, I can't do that. Got to have integrity. Alright, see ya. I think they had a lover's tiff, they're going their separate ways. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. That's a very um, intriguing way to, to go walking up there. Yeah, maybe he'll get eaten by a cougar. One can only hope. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you with a tow then, Judy's, and I'll head back out there. Nice stop. Alright, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, okay, ACDC. Sam 320, I'll be clear back tonight. Looks like he's going the other way now. Lincoln 209 back to 8 people so. See, and the speed limit's 55 through here. It's just how it is.
I've only ever broken one screen so far um, with my iPhones that I've had. I'm pretty sure it was my 6S that I broke. I had an iPhone 5C, one of those ones that could be green and blue and whatever. And um, that actually got run over by a car and it didn't even break it. It put like one little scratch on the back of the case and that was it. That thing was tough as nails. I could imagine that. Could honestly imagine. I think Richard's going ten forty two. Probably not going to be too far behind him to be honest. I think it's time almost for another game. Lincoln 209 Have a good night. Copy you too. What's this idiot doing? Have a good one, Richard. What the? Is this AI? Yep, that's AI. God, I love this thing. I love the lights on this Caprice. One of the pads is bent. Oh, that sucks. Probably gonna move over to farming sim, to be honest, guys. There's only a couple of us left on the server now. Hello? Hey! I'm probably gonna go and jump on the farm server. Oh, yeah. Alright. She's only us three now. Oh god, I hear something atrocious. <laughs> oh god, the face cam is... Oh, well, we'll leave it on. Faggot. Uh, isn't there a... All. Hey? Geralt. Guess I'll get down now. Did you even see him, Tom? Who? Brandon. Me. Doing what? Channel switched. Sound I wish muted. you'd seen him. Why? What was he doing? Uh, probably somewhere I shouldn't have been. What He's been vehicle? keeping a watchful eye over <laughs> Blaine County or Sandy Shores. 
Uh, doing what exactly? In a helicopter? Nope. Uh-huh. Just sitting on a hill somewhere. Not, not just a hill. Oh, God. I'm surprised you didn't see me. You drove by me like four or five times. Uh, not that I probably didn't take any notice then. Because I didn't see you. No. I don't think I uh, saw you. I'll, I'll have to watch your stream and see if you could actually... Where we... Where it were took you? me a while to figure out where he was. I was freaking Keaton out. Yeah, that was so funny. Hey. Keaton was losing his mind. What, what was going on though? Where were you? I'll post a picture of where I was. Oh, I should have taken a screenshot of it from like over near the PD. Oh, not the PD, the sheriff station. Because it looks so funny. See, I need a good, good picture here. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing it. I'm still surprised I got the Jeep all the way up there. Update the stream title. Oh, I guess I can actually open your stream now too. I I guess so. <clears throat> so I posted a couple pictures of where I was. Oh, okay. The LRP Discord. Hang on, I'll have a quick look. Yeah, you two were in a bit of trouble getting out of the car in a traffic stop. <laughs> well, Austin wanted to have a smoke. Yeah, I thought you might have had something on here that you shouldn't have had, actually. Nah. Oh, you, no, I didn't see you up there. <laughs> I was up there for quite a while. I thought you would have had more money than that. No, I definitely didn't see you. <laughs> Hang on, that Jeep comes with, like, a roof light bar as an option as well? Yeah. I'm not a fan of I mean, it, but I might have to get one. I mean, I spent, like... Probably twenty five thousand dollars putting all the upgrades on it. Oh, oh God. shit! God, this the server's this... taking forever to get up. Mm. That was a very interesting crash MVA to start off the stream with. Oh my god, that you little shits running into me. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> Honestly, t- Tubby One had no damage on it for me. Like, oh, it was barely yeah, a it mark was, on it. It was fucked on my screen. The only like thing that was... was wrong with it was a sm- it was smoking. And then Brandon's BMW had all this rear end damage, and I was like, they're telling me that he <laughs> rear ended them. And I was like, but he's got no damage, but he's got damage to the back end, and they're saying he's got, they've got damage to the front of their cars. Like, it doesn't even make sense. So mm. I think I did. I actually pit you on your screen. Yeah, you did. Um, so basically, from my eyes, um, we came blasting through that place where you were stopped. Um, I was basically just driving around all the AI. Didn't realize that it was you until you reacted, and then I was like, "Oh shit, that must have been Brandon." And then after. Uh, on my screen, I didn't hit you. I drove around you, and you started chasing us and came right up behind us, and then my car just spun off the side of the road and rolled. Yeah, no, because you, like, creamed me when you oh, drove wow. by me. <laughs> and then I, you know, caught up to tried catching up to you, and then I caught up to you, and all of a sudden you just shot off the side of the road and flipped into that <laughs> side, and I was like, oh, shit, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, that was certainly interesting. Yeah, I got there and I was like, he rear-ended him, but he's all the way over there, and I was like, oh, fuck if I know. I 
I forgot I started rolling these this morning before I went to work. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's that hot that I don't even know what day it is. Oh, oh. good. It's so hot here. That's why I'm not going to bed, there's just no point. Hmm. Oh, where's the field service trailer? I'm gonna take the GPS unit off this That's thing. That's on my ute. No, where's your ute? Have a dairy. Oh, will Bash just join it? Oh, yep, there it is. Three, four, five, six. Oh, so how do you make this work? You joining us, Brandon? Yeah. Um, Jeremy, do you want to move Bash down here? Yeah. Please and thanks. I said he was joining, but I haven't had the sync yet. I'm just kind of waiting for it. So, do you like have to open the field service trailer or what? Yeah, you got to open it. Oh, do you have to do it on foot? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's the sink. Yep. I forgot to go. I've got to go up the coast tomorrow, which is like a two and a half hour drive there and back. But I will. Does not sound fun. It's really not. I cannot describe how funny it was when that mountain lion came down the hill and killed you. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I heard it. And then I looked up and I was like, oh, Jesus. There's I a don't even remember hearing it, to be there. honest. I heard the second one that I shot, but I, didn't, I don't remember hearing that one. But the thing was, if that mountain lion hadn't have got me, uh, Keaton was probably getting arrested for his driving that he was doing. Because I clocked him at 129 to 50. Yes, he was, uh, <laughs> he was going a bit faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. Mountain lion saved the day. Yeah, the mountain lion incident didn't save you from Richard, though. No. I knew it was using that fucking banshee. That's why I, was, I mentioned the banshee, hoping you guys would slip up on something. But um, I couldn't. Re I didn't because I was in first person. I didn't really get the best look of her face and all that. So I was like, I can't really say it was them, even though I knew it was used. Yeah. Oh, have you spawned underneath my tractor? I forgot to yeah. update the map too, so the <laughs> I, milk cell thing won't work. <laughs> I was spawned, in, spawned inside it, apparently. Yeah. Jeremy, are you doing anything at the moment? I'm servicing my tractor. Fucking no. At least I'm trying to. I was only going to ask, could you bring my Massey Ferguson and the bio trailer down to me? Oh, uh, yeah. So how do you even, like, open the menu once you're parked in the green square? R or whatever it is, M. It tells you if you press F1. Yeah, it's M. So did you try GPS again? No, we should try that though, because I want to see if it fucks it up again. No, oh, I've got GPS on there, so I'll try it. Right. So you want your massive Ferguson and the bale trailer? Yes, please. To paddock. No clue where I am. Well, that's not really... Much use, is it? I'm down somewhere near a river. It's wherever the other straw paddock is that we bailed. Mm -hmm. I think it's five or something, I'm not really sure. It's gonna be paddock two, actually. Where even is the. Oh, I see. Alright, doing that now.
What stage was it at yesterday, though, when I was doing it, Jeremy? Uh, it was when I pressed the whatever key it was to activate the steering guidance. Now, yeah, well, I just done all of it then. Okay. Maybe you should try to get it after Jeremy and see if it does it. Hmm. Did you I set just, up? Like I, the, I the, set the, it up. I set up. I set the width. I set it up, and I activated it. What was that, Jeremy? Did you set up the? Oh, I can't remember what it was now. But you like give the course a name and tell it to create a new one or something. Did I do that? No, me. That's what I did yesterday. That That's might be I... the issue. The second page is bugged out oh, on the. Okay. Control S menu. Right. Yeah, it was from the second page. Okay, note it, don't use that. So the GPS is working, but the second page isn't. What is on the second page? It's basically where you save tracks. Oh. So it's not really a necessity? No. You just gotta. You just gotta set up a new track every time you enter a field, that's all. But you had to with the FS17 GPS mod anyway, so it's not even. Jeremy, can you park in the middle, please? Oh. Where are my pings going haywire? I, I, I'm hoping there's a big enough gap there. Same. There should be, but physics in here are different to real life. Just go forward a little bit. Tiny bit more. Yep, perfect. Thank you. He's only just had enough room in here. Yeah. Maybe I should have gone back a little bit further. Yeah, that bit's, um, the bit's update I did still didn't do anything. Oh. So, I'm thinking, I don't know really what I'm thinking. Because I, I don't get why it's not working, because everything else works. Yeah, that's kind of strange, Unless actually. it's because I saved it while I was streaming, and maybe I need to delete it and re-add it, I don't know. I suppose it could be worth a try if you haven't done it yet. Yeah, I was going to try, but I have to, made that to end the stream, so I'll just have to do it another day. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. See how much quicker it is to load a trailer when you already have them stacked up like this? Yeah. I guess I'll head up to paddock 5 and start harvesting. Needs harvesting. Is it? I said, does it need harvesting? I think so. As far as I know, yes. Yep, it says it's ready to harvest. It's Bali. 
Yeah, we don't need the rose, so unless you need it for something. Nope, I was planning to chop it. Oh, we, right, we could do with a little chop. bit of it actually for the horses. Oh, we can well, just I it out started with dropping it. Oh, okay. So if you want, I'll continue or I can really anyway, swap. So it doesn't matter too much. So you can actually just put it all on the ground. Alright. Yeah, we do already have a ton of straw. Yeah, I forgot that we had the shredder, so we can just shred it out. It doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Because, yeah, we have a metric shit ton of straw. We probably have surplus at this point. Oh, almost certain. Oh, shit. But... We'll use her all eventually, so it'll come in handy. Think of it this way, you won't have to do any for a while. Yeah. Incorrect though, because I'll probably do more soon. <laughs> probably just one paddock though. It'll probably be that oat paddock just for the oats. Be cool if it registered that that was different because oats are different to straw. Well, you get oats and straw off the oat paddock, don't you? No, but you technically it would be an oat bale, not straw, because technically um, you can actually mow the wheat instead of harvesting it too. Oh, yeah. I've, I've actually haven't tried to do it in seven to, in nineteen, but I doubt it would work. Because that's what we do. Can. We don't we don't harvest it. We mow it, mow it, and then turn it into oat bales. I think you can do that as long as it hasn't reached the final stage of growth or the the harvest stage. Well, maybe I should try that. Then. Or maybe it was a mod. Sure. We can try, there is an oat paddock growing. Oh yeah. It's the one opposite to the paddock I'm in. I did hear on the radio though that apparently this was meant to be one of the hottest marches ever. Oh dear. So I kind of hope that that's not true. Because I will not survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been told it's supposed to be a short but extreme winter. terms of extremely cold yeah it's kind of interesting because um autumn kind of came early because we got a bit of rain and stuff and it got really windy and cold for a bit for a week or two and then normally people you get the odd cow that drops a calf in like end of february but some farms are actually in full swing at the moment which is interesting yeah now we've got a levit heading truck Fucking bail, or the worst time you could freaking glitch out. While I'm trying to stack it on top of another one. Oh, yeah, you should have got those fucking bail forks that I showed you last night. Uh, yeah, well, I forgot to update the map as well. Mm. Oh, well. I blame the heat. Has Brandon joined you? 
No, I don't have all the right mods currently. Oh. Rip. Oh. I thought you were what are you the... missing? Yeah, what are you missing? The I think it's the GPS mod. Oh, that's in our group chat with Bash. If you didn't know. Yeah, the DMs. Yep. I reckon DM it to you. Oh look. I think I found it. I think it's a zip file directly in the chat as well, so you don't even have to download it from my website. No, I clicked it and it downloaded it right away. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the one. I just uploaded the file directly. Do you have yeah. the class tracker, Brandon? Yeah, I did have that one. Yeah, it's a good thing you had that. Oh, thank God. That was not a fun download for any of us. It's called the initiation download, that one. Because I went to download and I was like, wait, I feel like I was talking to Tom when he originally saw this, and I went ahead and downloaded it, and Tom said, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just as well you didn't delete it then. Well, when they, if and when they do release this class update, DLC or whatever's meant, that's meant to be coming, I mean, those modded ones could probably go depending on what they release. Yeah. All right, sinking I'll be joining, soon. sinking soon. Let me know a bit closer to time so I can not go near my bales that I've stacked. I am connecting, please wait. I think I've got enough time. Please have enough time. You should have enough time. I'm hoping I've got enough time oh to get God. to the... Oh God. Loading. Oh, the bale bugged out, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus. I would have had enough time too if it hadn't have bugged out. Woo! I made it to my combine. There it is. There's the sink. Yeah, I've got like all the windows open, all the doors open, the fan going, and it's still too hot. Oh, I feel really bad for you because now I have my air conditioner and I'm kind of like uh, starting to get a bit cold in here. So, <laughs> Well, the, this house doesn't have an air conditioner, but it has some, I don't know, some system in it or something that does blow, it does do some sort of air conditioning crap. And it like, I think I told you about it. It wrecked like a month or so ago, though. Oh, yeah. And then, you know how I said my fan broke the other day? Mm -hmm. I just left it going, making the horrible noise, and it came right, so... <laughs> nice. So I'm kind of happy about that. I mean, it's not yeah. really doing a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, my vap air con works great. Thanks, Mesh. <laughs> No, oh, don't worry, it didn't last summer, it broke down. Do we have two grain trailers? Two grain trailers? Mm. No, we only have the truck trailer, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure grain can go in the forage wagon, though, can't we? No. No. I thought I seen a little tractor one down there. Brandon, thanks for the bits. Why is that? I don't. I just don't get why that's not doing the new, the yeah. new thing. Yeah. Fuck, there's a lot of stuff. Oh. I don't want to end the stream, but I wanted to. I want to restart it to see if I can fix it. But it's just a pain in the bum. If I had no viewers, I would be. What's this one? Uh, 
I think there is a small trailer somewhere. Yeah, we're looking at a red trailer. No, that's the manure wagon, I think. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, so the... Yeah, it is. The main grain one is that Vash's combine. Yep. Do you need right emptying or something? Yeah. You might be able to put sides on that bale, the small bale trailer. It won't fit much, but I th you might be able to put sides no, on it. No, it'll fit like one tank out of the combine. Yeah, at well, it's time. better than nothing. Yeah, but... You got the John Deere and the Manitou here, too. Oh, except grain. <laughs> what is it? 150 litres or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could use those. Yeah, there's the oh. back of the Utes. <laughs> So, I mean, you take your pick, you got that little tip of trailer, or you can put her in the Utes. Well, I'm just the combine harvester driver, so I just sit here and get paid until the stuff gets emptied. Because we can't really afford another tip of trailer. <laughs> I know. Well, Brandon can do shuttles between us. <laughs> Where, where, where's the thing that, so I can pick it up so I can get to work here? Uh, 21. Alright. I found a truck. That would be it. Oh, what better time for a chocolate break. Mm. My chocolate's melting. <laughs> oh no. There is a certain temperature when chocolate is just so fucking good. Like, it can be too cold and it doesn't taste as nice. Yeah, if it's too cold, it's kind of like, it's, I don't know, a bit rock hardish sort of thing and then. If it's too hot, it's just too melty. It's quite, yeah, there is a right temperature for chocolate. Mm while I'm down here. I might empty just before you leave. Yeah. Is that a Snapchat about chocolate, Jeremy? I'm going to take your silence as a yes. Yes, it is. So I'm not going to open it then. You do have chocolate though, right? Yeah, but it's just too hot. It's like melted chocolate. I'm not a fan of chocolate that's melted. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it at a certain temperature. And it's just too hot to move. I wasn't built for this weather. I was built for Antarctica. <laughs> Well, if All it right. makes you feel any better, my aircon is only bringing it down to about your tap. Doesn't make me feel any better, Vash, but thanks for trying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, the heat brings out the best in you, Tom. No. What are you harvesting, Jeremy? Ah, uh, barley. It really yeah. doesn't. You have to unload between. Yeah, I saw. That. Yeah, that was the that was the issue we were facing. <laughs> Massey tows all these bales, no worries. Of course it does. She loves it. And why wouldn't it? That's a Massey. Not as good as the John Deere. She gets the job done. Uh -huh. She's got some hours on her now, the old girl. Bloody hell, 8.4 already. Yep. Hard working tractor. It's pretty much all bale use, too. Mm. It shows just how long it takes. Yep. This harvest has only got 1.6 hours on it. Pretty sure the John Deere, so I've used both of them, so pretty equally, so the John Deere has 8.3, so all up I've been doing about 16 and a half, nearly 17 hours of fails. Bloody hell. Yeah. We've still Damn. got a few paddocks left. <laughs> There's still that whole, that whole paddock 17 to go. Mm. So that's probably another hour or two. Yep. Brandon was gonna kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> Just scare you a little bit. I didn't know if you were gonna make that turn very safely. Are you just selling that directly? No, I just dropped it off in the silo, but oh. I appear to be running into something. Um, are you two harvesting the same, like, stuff or different crop? No, mm. they're harvesting something different. different. Although we could have been harvesting the grain, same crop. Alright, how do I get to you, Jeremy? Um, <clears throat> I kind of just found a place where the hedge was quite low. Kind of found a place where the hedge was quite low. <laughs> Well, I mean, I couldn't find an actual gate, so... Which paddock are you in? Five. Five. Uh, wrong fucking button. Five, five, five. Hmm. I'm pretty That's sure you have to go in the hay loft, because I know you have to go into that hay where you sell the hay bales and get into six. Pretty sure that's where you got to go. Well, I mean, you can kind of see where I started harvesting, Brandon. It's sort of just in front of where you are now. I, yeah, I can see that. And, I, and sure, this works. See where I went and where there's kind of a gap in the hedge. There's just some low, low shrubbery. Yeah.
How full are you, Bash? I'm about half. How much does your harvester hold? But look at this. Actually, I'm about a quarter. So it looks to be about. 20,000? Jesus. It's pretty decent for a It's probably about 15. How much have you got in there at the moment in, in litres? Uh, just over 5,000. Oh yeah, Tom, that's gonna work out great. Little trailer. What? <laughs> Could have at least put the extra sides on it. No, that costs money for the extra sides. Oh. She fits 7,700, uh, 5,700 I think it is in it. It's better than nothing. <laughs> that's not even what I've got in the tank at no, the moment. No, it's better than nothing. Stop being so judgmental, you fuckers. This little trailer will get it done. <laughs> I mean, it'll take some of the pressure off. Yeah, it will. The harvester will sneeze into it and it'll be full. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, come on. Every little bit helps, Jeremy. What are you, bloody Tesco's now? Not sure what that means. Ah, uh, that's the motto or catch phrase or tagline or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Right. Every little helps. Can't say I've heard of it. Well it is from the UK so You're not from the UK so how do you hear about it? I watch a few UK streamers. Uh, is it like an ad or something? It's like a supermarket. Yeah. The fuck if I know? Tesco's is Woolies. <laughs> yeah. Well then why didn't they just call it Woolies? Every country in the Cause is Because is it called Woolies in the US? No. Well everything should be the, you know, your form and just all be the same and... <laughs> Well, it's not all that yeah, that's not Woolies. Though. Every every country Woolies is in has got a different name. Everyone should just follow Australia's lead and just name everything. Then Victoria, it's, it's not Woolies. It's Safeway. See, what's wrong with them? Uh, it used to be Woolworths in New Zealand. Um, yeah. And then they changed it to... Well, they actually bought out a smaller supermarket chain that New Zealand had called Countdown but they took that name instead of Woolworths but they still use the the logo that's kind of like a W made out of I think Woolworths used to be called uh, what did it used to be called um, I don't know. it wasn't Woolworths it was um well here it was Food for Less I feel like it was I can't remember. Well, New South Wales anyway, Woolworths bought Food for Less and then took on their branding, their colour scheme. Who needs empty? And changed it to Woolworths. Um, I'll need emptying shortly. Okay. What are you at, Jeremy? I'm getting close to half. Just over half. I got Jeremy. All right, we'll just go back and forth. I'm coming slow and steady.
Yeah, so I guess these sides actually come with this trailer, and then the others are just an add-on that you have to pay for. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's why I just put these ones on. I didn't really want to pay you another four grand or whatever it was just to make the sides a little bit higher. Hmm. I think you only have to pay once. Yeah. Then you yep. If you buy them sides once, then you don't have to buy them again. Ah. Nice. Oh, well, I know that for next time. We still don't really have a whole heap of money to do that. Well, if you look at our loan, no. I'm trying to get that down a little bit more. She's a little, little big. Mm -hmm. I'm so, about 95%. so for the paddock that Jeremy is in, it is you have to go through the hay, where you sell the hay and all that to actually get in there. The legit way? Yes. 98%. I'm coming. God damn it. Go. Um, follow me down, Brandon. I'll... Yep. When I turn around, I'll... Empty yeah, tank. I'll, I'll catch you, yeah. On Jeremy, the way back why up. are you so far away over there? Well, that's... It's just where I end up, Tom. If you came in the other way, it wouldn't have been so far yeah, away I'm for you. Way. Well... Stick your pipe out. You have to park there, I'm currently doing some. What? I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Oh. There you go, that should get you up to the end of the road. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> yes. That I emptied a quarter of my tank. It only holds 5,700. I already stated this fact. Uh, well. That is less than ideal. He gets the job done. In quarters. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. A quarter of a tank at a time. Mm-hmm. So I'll be full again in about 30 seconds. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Will you be back in time? No. Oh dear. That'll give you time to eat your lunch. I, I'm still munging on mine as I drive. Oh. As long as he doesn't do what a black did out here. What's that? Went to sleep while it was harvesting with GPS on. Oh, God. Mm. Two fences and a power pole later, you wake up. I don't know how you couldn't wake up after the first fence. Must have been out. To his credit, it was like 3 a.m. in the morning. Oh. Wow. Yeah, here's yeah, probably wrecked then. Once we start harvesting here, it's a 24 hour operation. Fuck that. You get up, you do day shift or night shift, <laughs> one of the two. Oh, I'd probably that's alright if you do it. Shift. I thought you meant you, you did it for like 20, yeah, that's alright then. No, you do 12 hour shifts. Yeah. But I think he was on like a 16 hour shift or something. It was, wow, close to the end of I reckon he would have done a bit of damage to the harvester then. Yeah, he didn't lose his job, but... <laughs> Blacked out a whole town, too. I think it would be, be kind of hard to sack oh, someone, shit. to be honest, for work, like falling asleep after doing shit like that. Like, in terms of, like, the hours and... People fall asleep over shit like that. Well, technically, he was the farm manager too, so. Oh, yeah, well, that's probably why. Yep. The only time I ever fell asleep at work was when I was riding the motorbike. 
for um, like when you get in the cars and you're sitting there at about two k's per hour for an hour, and you're just like, oh, just close your eyes for a little bit, and then you wake up all of a sudden. Oh dear. That was kind of when you're carving though, and you're doing 120 plus hours of fortnight. Well, I've decided I'm retiring from moving grains from people because it's just. Because it's a fucking job that needs to be done. Well, I got other shit to do that needs to do it, actually. Oh my god. If you two had have been considerate you, would have worked together and gone into the same paddock. Well, if you could have went into, what's the other paddock? 20... Uh, 7, or something like that. I, I don't think that was aimed at you, Vash. I think you started that paddock yeah, first. Yeah, 7. Yeah, I did. Yeah. If you went into 7... <laughs> It would have been the same crop. Mm. Could have worked so you could have just shuffled between the, you know, ran and shuffling between the two paddocks until it was full. No, it wasn't so much the trailer. It also I could only do like forty k's per hour as well. So, yeah, should have got a better tractor then. No, the John Deere is perfect for the job. Are you, like, off cultivating now? Are you metagaming? <laughs> Never. Yes, I am. What's that supposed to mean? Jeremy? I thought you had bail work to do. I do, but that can wait. We don't need to so take 17 that can and wait, but unloading the harvesters can't. Pretty much. Or, yeah. Pretty much. And we can only cultivate at about 7k's per hour. Jesus. Really? Yeah, well, considering this cultivator requires 340 horsepower and my John Deere is 150 horsepower, I, I would say it's doing well to be even towing at nearly 10k's per hour. I would say so. You should be doing uh, a bit too. Mm. If moving. Why don't you just use one of the proper tractors for it? Because there's nothing because wrong with the John Deere. Little thing. What was that, Brandon? I said you're partial to that little thing. Uh, well, it's just because where I work, we don't really have the option of going, oh, we need a bigger tractor, we can just go and get him one. Oh my god, a truck's turned up. Uh, the truck has turned up. They appear from time to time. I might go and jump in the Massey though and see how fast the Massey can do this. Why don't you jump in the class? No, I want to use the Massey. The Massey actually is, has more horsepower than the um, class, I'm pretty sure. I bet the class would still pull it faster though. Why? Um, I think the... I think the mod has done a bit of witchcraft to that class because it was pulling things it really probably shouldn't pull. Why? Why do you have it pulling? Uh, that massive fucking cultivator that you have. Oh, the one your class. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the class that I brought. That no. class that you have is like three hundred something horsepower. Uh, four ten. Yeah. So, I mean, that's quite excessive. It's humongous. Sure, it's not excessive. What do you need? It's practical. Horses for Jeremy. Oh, <laughs> it's practical. He can hook up to anything and pull it with no problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wouldn't it feel like it's not even there? Well, come on, I do. I have been to a farm where they run nothing but quad tracks. Oh, you know what we should get is the bloody um, IT runner mod, then we could get a couple of bins and just drop them off in the paddocks and the combines can empty them to them. Isn't that trailer that he's using, that he was, you were using an IT runner one? No. I don't like how it shows it looks like an IT runner. 
that little little one. Yeah, there is an IT runner mod, we just don't have it enabled on the farm. I don't even think I have it downloaded, to be honest, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. Did a chaser at 21. Yep. He'll be there yeah, shortly. <laughs> yeah. Probably tomorrow. That's alright, as long as I've sent him the combine, I'm getting paid. Are you getting paid, though? <laughs> well, if it was real life, I'd want to be. <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault I haven't got a chaser. <laughs> I'd say it's definitely a job you want a um, hourly wage for. No, I'm pretty sure my class is smaller than the Massey Ferguson load, Jeremy. Could be. Pretty didn't sure. actually... It was actually a nice tractor. I didn't drive it for very long, but uh, I mean, I'm just looking it on stream now and it looks pretty decent. It looks a bit weird with the John Deere weight on there, but I don't know. Over there we go, a bit more power. Doesn't sound too bad either. Yeah, I did like the engine sound of that one. Which reminds me, I still need to change the sound for those mowers. Which John D did you have? Was it the R or the M? No, I was using my 6M. Six right, M's one sixty four, and your that class is two fifty. Should want to hope it to be bloody pulling out a bit better then. I think the Massey Ferguson's two eighty. Yep. And the six R is three hundred. Yeah, that's Brandon's trailer. his baby. Mm-hmm. Hang on, the GPS mod kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah, that does work if you use manuals. If you set it up with the keys, just don't use the menu. So do I go enable guidance menu. steering, I'm guessing? All right. Yep. Enable guidance and snap terrain angle and show lines. All them three should be on. Right. And then auto width. Auto width. Oh shit. That's never yes, good. Or well, you can do the width I with um Alt line. R. Yeah, ignore the green line because that's what happens. So then press Alt E until an A pops up underneath the tractor. Hang on, Alt A? Yep. Until a what? If you hit it twice, once or twice, you should see an A appear underneath the tractor. The Alt E. Oh, Alt E. Yeah, I got an A. Yep, then drive 15 metres forward in the direction of travel you want it to go.
Once you've done that, hit out E again. And that'll set up your track. Oh, wrong button. I did control. Oh, actually, that's kind that of quite And then you'll there. get two blue lines at the yep. edge of the cultivator. Yep. And your steering is Alt X. And that white line will turn green. That's a very similar setup process to a um, video I watched of some guy setting up his GPS IRL. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be. It's set up based off IRL, so nice. from what I read. So yeah, if your track's not in the right orientation, you can just reset it again with Alt E. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright. I'm not going to use it because I'm doing it on the outside at the moment, so it's going to look a bit jank for now. Seventeen k's per hour down the hill, though. That might be a bit fast. Okay. That might be a bit fast. Hey, Stubble. How you doing, buddy? Much appreciated. Yeah. All right, guys, I am going to end the stream there. Um, I unfortunately have to travel for over five hours tomorrow, so I am going to bed. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but um, thanks everyone for hanging out. Thanks for the new follows. Thanks for the bits from Brandon and I think someone else gave bits. Jonathan did. And Stopple just joined. My day was good, buddy. How was yours? Oh, how dare it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dude. I unfortunately have to go up the coast tomorrow. I'll try and get on though, if you're on later. But um, yeah, thanks guys for hanging out. We're gonna raid someone else who's playing farming sim and I'll see you all next time.